Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to my second video tutorial on what you can do in order to qualify for the Proton Lend Loan token airdrop that's going to be taking place here on June 15th. In my first video, I went over moving my MTL tokens off of the Bittrex exchange into my Proton wallet. You can see here on the left hand side of the screen, I've moved my iPhone here. And so we're going to be using the iPhone on this side of the screen, because in this video, I'm going to show you how using your MetaMask wallet with some Ethereum in that MetaMask wallet, how you can use the proton.blocks.io swap site in order to swap that Ethereum into wrapped Ethereum and then to convert it into XPR. Now, don't confuse XPR with XRP Ripple, right? We're talking about XPR, which is the Proton token. And then I'm going to long stake that token in my Proton wallet. So again, I will include the link to this blog.metalpay.com article by Marshall that details all of the airdrop information. And again, in the first video, I was talking about the 331 to 1 ratio, uh, which will be paid out for XMT holders who have the XMT in the Proton wallet. Now, it also talks about some other ways that you can earn the token. And so I'm actually going to show you uh, either this one here, which I already have, and we're going to see if I can't do a 365 day long stake in addition to the 90 day. Again, I haven't tried to do concurrent uh, long staking, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, but again, this is definitely a good read. And as you can see, it's right here. The loan airdrop will commence on June 15th at 12 a.m. Pacific time. But we need to get these XPR tokens uh, into the Proton wallet. So I'm also going to include a link to this long staking article by Logan from February of this year that talks about the Proton long staking so that you can take a look at it, read through it, and see if this is something that's for you. And on that, let me go ahead and say I am not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice. This is simply an educational tutorial showing you how that you can... Uh, convert Ethereum into XPR and then stake that XPR, any cost, fees, loss of fiat tokens, whatever the case may be, I am not responsible for that. Again, this is an informational only video uh, and make sure that you make good choices. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our, uh, our MetaMask wallet, right? So I'm just using the MetaMask plugin with my Brave web browser here. And we're gonna take half of this. We're gonna take, uh, we'll do dot one, two, dot, uh, dot one, two, one, two. So we use half of the Ethereum in order to do what we need to do. So how does it all happen? Well, first of all, let's come to proton.blocks.io. And you'll notice that blocks is missing the C. It's B-L-O-K-S. I will put this link in the description in the, uh, for the video below as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the Ethereum wallet. Now you'll see here it says MetaMask. It's a little uh, darked out or uh, over, <clears throat> excuse me, covered over there. So you could do MetaMask. You could even use your Coinbase wallet right? Or you can use Wallet Connect. So I'm going to use MetaMask because I've already got some Ethereum in my MetaMask wallet. So I'll click on that. And you'll see that it actually happened pretty quick. And right here is that MetaMask wallet address. And it ends in E864. And we know that that's the address. If we click on the MetaMask wallet, you can see that right here, E864. So now that the MetaMask wallet is connected, and now that we have Ethereum, again, and you can get the Ethereum in there any number of ways. You can use the wire service and use a debit or credit card. Uh, you could transfer it, you know, buy it on an exchange, transfer it into the MetaMask wallet. So as long as you've got that Ethereum in the MetaMask wallet, you connect the MetaMask wallet here. And now we're going to do a swap, a proton cross chain wrap. So let's go ahead and click on the top currency here, we're going to choose Ethereum, and I'm going to say 0, 1, 2, 1, 2. And what's going to happen is we're going to take it 
We're going to take that Ethereum and we're going to cross chain wrap it in X ETH. And then once we've got the X ETH, the X Ethereum, the wrapped Ethereum, I can then go ahead and convert that into XPR. So let's go ahead and click swap ETH. And you can see here, take a look at that gas fee, right? I'm very happy to see this. This was one of my concerns going into this video was that this was gonna say something like $400 because things, it was just pandemonium a few, few weeks ago. So I'm really happy to see that it's $13, right? I mean, great fee, let's take advantage of that. I'm gonna go ahead and say confirm, I'll pay that $13. And here's where we're gonna run into a little delay. So it's gotta go through 24 confirmations. And so I'm not gonna make you sit through this. I'm gonna open my Proton wallet up over here to the left and you can see that there's my Proton XPR. I've got 127,000 and change. And so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna pause this and I'm gonna come back once these confirmations have completed and then we can go ahead and continue on with the video. So we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, all 24 of the confirmations that were needed have been run through and it took a little over five minutes for that to happen. So now that we have had success doing that, you can see we've got some options up here. There's an account option. Uh, you can see it's showing what we've got long staked. Uh, you can see the, uh, the wallet actually is a little covered up over here, but here's where we wanna be looking. We wanna come over here to swap because it's gonna be on the swap tab where I can now come up here and take a wrapped asset, right? Because remember, we had regular Ethereum in the MetaMask wallet. We paid that $13 gas fee to get half of that Ethereum out of that wallet and to wrap it as X Ethereum. And so now here's what we can do. I can take that X ETH and here it is right here and you can see it actually shows my balance, the XETH, and down here we have the XPR. And so again, basically what we're saying here is we wanna take the wrapped Ethereum asset or the XETH, and I wanna convert that, I wanna swap it into XPR, the Proton token. And you can see we've got our balances over here, and this is pretty nice with the wallet. You'll notice it actually even added in the XETH because remember, you'll need to sign up for an account on the Proton website. And it's really a seamless kind of experience that takes place here with respect to the wallet on your mobile device and the website and the transactions that you're executing on the website. And you notice that it really updated um, rather quickly. So let's go ahead and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take half of the Ethereum. So I'm gonna say 0 0.0606, which I'm ballparking is gonna be right around half of what we've got there. And you can see there's gonna be, we've got this little difference between market price and the estimated price due to the trade size. Right, and that's okay. So let's go ahead and let's do the swap. And it's gonna pop up with this screen here asking me, hey, we need you to confirm this request. So my Proton wallet, as you can see, displayed to the left there, it's gonna come up asking me to authorize a transaction. Another awesome feature about the wallet is it's got facial recognition, right? So I'm gonna click authorize. It's gonna go ahead and do its face ID thing. And you could see it really flashed up and said success. And it actually incremented from 127,000 to 149,000. So I left half of the balance in here because in addition to being able to swap to XPR, I can also swap to metal. So now this is something to think about. If you're buying MTL or you know on an exchange, if you're buying MTL and you're looking at a really steep cost in order to move or withdraw that MTL, XMT, then maybe this might be a better option. You saw the Ethereum gas fee right now is $13. In the previous video, I had to use 20 MTL, which was around a $50 fee at the time to get the MTL off the Bittrex exchange. Doing it this way, I purchased it using the wire service, which is part of the MetaMask wallet. And I think my total fees were probably under $20. So 
this might be an even better way to do that. So let's go ahead and do that as well before we do our long staking piece. So what if I was to say, I wanna take the wrapped Ethereum and convert it into XMT, metal, and put it in my Proton wallet and add it to that 333 to one. So I'm gonna say uh, 0 0.0606, excuse me. Uh, and you can see we're looking at about $167 there. Let me go ahead and click on that. And let's try to confirm this. Let's see what happens. It might get denied. Uh, due to the authorizations complete, but pay attention down here in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, we may see something pop up down here. And actually we did not, I'm sorry, that went through much quicker than I had anticipated. So I got rid of all of my wrapped Ethereum. I now have 340 XMT and 149,000 Proton. So again, another option to get XMT metal if that's what you wanted to do. So now let's take a look at the long staking. Because again, we just added, uh, and you can see here, it's showing the available balance of about 21,360. And now the question is, uh, can I, I it looks like I can only update my stake. So I'm gonna click update stake. Uh, and you can see we've got long stake, and it looks like it's already doing the 90 days. And so again, I haven't tried to do this before. You can do the short stake at 10.3%, but we wanna take advantage of the long stake. And so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and say 365 days, and we're going to max it out for those 21,000. And I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. It's gonna do the facial ID piece, and there you have it, success. And we'll have to wait and see what happens on the 15th, but at this point, right, I've just shown you two additional ways that you could get in and participate in that airdrop. Remember, there are other ways that you can participate in the airdrop. These are not the only two ways, and this is certainly not the only way to do uh, what I just did. Uh, you can use other wallets, as you saw, and so let's take a look uh, and let's just kind of rough this out. So we've got 159,000, one, two, three, just a ballpark there. And if I was getting uh, 10 to one for the uh, the staking, we would get 1.59 million. Now, my hope is, is that, and maybe, again, I'm a little confused here, but I've added in some XPR on multiple occasions, just kind of testing things. Uh, so, Maybe the 21,000 that we put in, we're gonna get that 30 to one on and we'll have to wait and see what happens there, but that would turn out to be uh, 630,000, right? So there's different ways that you can get the Proton Lend loan airdrop token, which is again, gonna be paid out on the 15th of June. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully this has helped you out and gotten you on your way to not only staking, but to being able to participate in that airdrop of the loan token. All right, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.